Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we got the Racer X ET5. I changed a couple things on the quad and I wanted to give you a quick update. All right, so um, previously I was running some Racer Star Sprog 1507 2400 KV. I swapped out to these Brother Hobby Avenger SEs. And these are about $15.99 a piece there. So for the 2004 um, motor size, they're one of the more reasonably priced options there. Um, I believe Brother Hobby was the initial manufacturer to come out with some uh, 2004 motors uh, with the VY series there. Um, a lot of people love those motors, but they were quite fragile. The bells on these look to be thicker and offer more protection. Uh, but like I said, I didn't have a, a set of the originals, so I can't say uh, whether that's true, but these have held up good for me so far. Uh, really no crashes there on them. So we'll see what time will tell on those. These are a lot lighter. These Brother Hobbies are coming in at about 15.4 grams a piece versus the Racer Stars uh, 17.8. So it's about two and a half grams per motor. So about 10 grams saving overall there on the build. Another thing I did swap out was the flight controller. I went with the Hack RC F4126. It's a 20 amp uh, whoop board. Uh, it does have a barometer. So if you did want to add um, GPS probably via soft serial, you could do that uh, and that should give you uh, altitude there. So that's a cool thing, especially at this price point. I believe they're coming in at $34.99. Uh, picked mine up on Pyrodrone. I'll post the link in the video description there. And so far it's been working great. Um, I have been running this on 4S. These are the 3150 KV motors. I did not set a throttle output limit. Uh, I'm thinking about doing that, but um, with my PIDs, uh, and settings there, it looks like it's, it's, it's working out pretty good. I did have to drop the TPA. Um, I believe it set it like 1700 by default. I dropped it down to 1350 because um, under you know high throttle, I was getting oscillations there. But once I dropped the TPA, uh, looks like that's pretty much gone away. I was running these um, Gym Fan 5125s. Um, these are the only props I've run on this one. <clears throat> it's a T-mount or um, five millimeter shaft. The um, the Racer Star are a five millimeter shaft there, so I was also using these same style props there. They can be used interchangeable. Now um, I do have some HQ five by three. Uh, T-mounts that I picked up. I'll try those um, here pretty soon, but I've just been giving these uh, gym fans a workout. Gym fan did come out with a new, a uh, couple new sets of uh, props there for the um, long range category. These, they're 5.1 also, um, and then they do have a bi blade in there. So I want to check those out as well. But um, overall, these motors do give better throttle resolution there and just an overall higher top speed. Um, probably that part of that's due to the KV. Like I said, these are 3150. My um, racer star were only 2400 KV. But it is a five inch prop there. So I'm running on 4S, running on these two packs. This Tattoo 850 4S. And I actually tried it on this China Hobby Line 1300. This is just a normal mini quad pack um, that I ran. It will carry it. Um, it's about the size battery strap. I think it's 155 millimeter. The RDQ ones that you get free. Um, it's about the largest pack it will accommodate, I believe. So um, I do have a lithium ion uh, all line. Uh, 4S 2000 milliamp hour pack uh, that I did want to give a go there. So I'm pretty sure I'll get a long flight time there, especially with the larger prop versus a four inch. Um, should be pretty efficient, but uh, I'd have to swap the battery strap and I just didn't feel like doing that.
I did use the capacitor that came with the flight controller. I have it connected to these leads there and it's up under the canopy there. It's better to always do that than put them on the ends. I know a lot of us do put them on the ends, but um, the further away it is from the actual battery pads, um, the more resistance you're gonna get. I like to mount them uh, directly on the, the leads there or put these little tiny extensions there on them. I was pretty overall impressed with the new setup there. Uh, I didn't see how much, how many amps I was drawing there under load, but this is a 20 amp ESC, so it seems to be uh, doing the job there. The reason why I swapped out the flight controller, I thought um, I had a burn ESC um, on my uh, original JH EMCU 30 amp, but after pulling the um, pulling the flight controller there, apparently I bridged some of the motor pads there. Now these. Um, you can't see them here, but um, they do have a much larger pad, so that's appreciated there on the Hack RC flight controller there. So if you are thinking about going with this, I mean, it's only $34.99. You pick it up on Pyro or uh, a lot of other retailers have them, um, but the pads are larger there. So, But um, I desoldered the original flight controller, and I always like to take a look there because I noticed there were no FETs burn up or uh, you know magic smoke or anything like that. And then after reconnecting it to uh, Bill Heli, uh, it did recognize my other ESC. So I believe it was ESC2. Um, so I can use that in another build now. So that's good. But anyway, I, I swapped the flight controller regardless, and it is working well for me there. Uh, still am flying analog some, along with SharkBite, and it, it's not a problem. I do like um, the predictability of analog. It's, and the penetration is a little bit better there than on uh, shark bite. Not giving up analog anytime soon there, especially on these ultra lightweight builds there. All right, and let's get away for you guys. All right, guys, I hope this update was uh, informative for you. If you're thinking about picking up these Brother Hobby Motors, uh, I do recommend these. I do. I did pick up another set. I've got a micro Apex 4-inch build. I'm excited about that one. It's coming to the channel. We're going to build that one up shark bite. I want to thank you again for tuning in. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. Like, comment, leave a thumbs up. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And we'll catch you in the next one.